Are you guys ready for the easiest oil-free biscuits you've ever made? I don't know if these are the easiest, but they're very simple and they're very delicious, hopefully. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this recipe. We're making oil-free biscuits today. They're gonna to be yummy. Who doesn't love biscuits? I mean, come on, especially if you're from the South. Biscuits and gravy, all that stuff. I've actually never had biscuits and gravy, which I'm ashamed to say, but anyways, I don't know anyone that doesn't love biscuits and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this recipe. So I had some leftover coconut cream because I was doing a cornbread recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and use it up, man. You know what, waste not, want not, right? So we're doing, we're starting off with some thick. And what you do is you put the coconut cream in the refrigerator and you let it uh, sit for a couple of hours or overnight and then it becomes this thick, Cream. So we're just going to go ahead and put this in the bowl here. All right, I'm just going to take all that I can here. Oh yeah. Now we want some milk. Um, and we're going to use, actually, I got quite a lot of coconut milk at the bottom of this can, so I'm going to go ahead and just use this. I had some other milk out, but you know what? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the milk at the bottom and add that in. And then we're going to go ahead and add in some apple cider vinegar. Now it's best to let the apple cider vinegar and the milk sit for a while. That's the best way because it curdles and the longer it sits, it, it turns into this just amazing buttermilk. Right, you're just going to mix this together. And like I said, uh, you can use a hand mixer if you want. I'm going the old fashioned way and I'm using a spoon and I'm just mixing the bowl like mama did. You know, they'll high step the bowl and they're like, you know, back in my day and, you know, my grandparents did this. And of course, they're not making a mess like I am, uh, you know, just kind of splattering coconut milk and cream all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, when I think of biscuits, I just think of, you know, the old fashioned type, you know, the, the ladies in the kitchen with the apron on like I have on and baking the biscuits for their family or whatever. It just so fun. Okay, so we've got all of that here. We're gonna go ahead and add the flowers. So, a little tip for you. When you are cooking oil-free, sometimes you're gonna to have to take out this all-purpose flour unbleached because when it's already oil-free and then you add flowers that are more dry, um, the biscuits are not going to be as fluffy and light as you want them to be. Um, you can use whole wheat flour, you can use spelt flour. Um, there are options out there. Now you can always take this recipe, take the amount of the flour and use the flour that you want. If you wanna use all whole wheat, you can do that. If you wanna use all whole white wheat, you can do that. Spelt flour, whatever you want. You can change the recipe up and customize it to fit your dietary needs or preferences. So always remember that. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need about tablespoon, teaspoon of each. It's named Kitchen Diaries for a reason because I chronicle my adventures in the kitchen. My adventures are never pre-planned pre or, you know, pre-prepared. They're just, you know, I have things written out and everything, but part of the fun that I love about baking and cooking is just going in the kitchen and being innovative. You know, going in the kitchen and just being creative about it. you know it's not always pre-planned it's not always perfect because we had a half a cup we had a whole cup of unbleached all-purpose flour and talking too much and then we're going to add in a little bit of whole white wheat flour I'm trying to measure an exact cup that's a little more than a cup okay i think we got it there let's mix this together you might need to add a little bit more liquid, that's okay. That's why we have the milk on hand because that's how biscuits are. You add a little bit of liquid, make it work, you know? Like I said, this is Kitchen Diaries, okay? I'm not a professional chef. I am in here experimenting. I'm gonna add some baking soda. I'm gonna add some baking powder. I don't like to add a lot of leavening. I'm very picky about that, so. Yeah, I don't like to add a lot, but I'll do half of the amount or whatever. I don't know about you, but like I said, I have to be careful with leavening because I've gotten headaches and it's just been, we're going to add a pinch of salt. I keep talking and then I keep stopping. But we're going to add a pinch of salt to that. That's all it. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit 
of just my coconut milk. I think I used all out of this can. It's just cream left. So just gonna add a little bit more milk. Don't worry, all the measurements will be at the bottom. The exact measurements. So I just kind of work with it. Add just enough liquid until we get a nice little dough here. Add a little bit more flour. You can also add a little bit of honey or agave into the biscuit mixture if you wanted to. In fact, let me go ahead and do that. A little bit of sugar here, just to sweeten it up a bit. So yeah, you can add a little bit of sugar. Pull it, but you can add herbs to it, fresh herbs to it. This is yours. You can make it however you want to make it. Now we're going to go ahead and roll this dough out. So we need to get it kind of move and clear out the area because with my phone over here, wipe off the counter so we can go ahead and roll out this dough and make some wonderful biscuits. And I also need to get my pan. Okay. Give a parchment paper. Can you tell I'm excited about these biscuits? I'm really excited. Okay. All right, wipe this off one more time because we're going to be kneading our dough up here and I'm also going to need a top. I'm going to use a jar because I don't have a roller. We're going to improvise. We're going to go old fashioned. Use whatever you have on hand. Don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff. Okay, so go ahead and put the dough up here. You can get the rest of the dough off my spoon because waste not warm not right. Okay. So we're just gonna knead the dough a couple times, you know. The way you do biscuit dough, like I have a lot of experience, I don't. <laughs> I do not have a lot of experience making biscuits, but that's why I'm having fun on this channel, kind of just experimenting in the kitchen. I love to look at a recipe. Make sure it's still recording. I love to look at a recipe and say, how can I do that? How can I make that without oil, butter, or sugar? Or I just love being creative and just, you know, experimenting in the kitchen. I remember when I was a little girl, every time I would stay out of school, if I had to stay out of school for something and I had some extra time, my mom would find me in the kitchen <laughs> in there trying to bake. And she would let me do it. She would let me go at it, you know, and she'd be sitting there with, you know, my brothers, my younger brother or sister, or, you know, just, you know, sewing or whatever. And she would just sit there and let me go in the kitchen and, and try to make things. And I was not that good, but I just kept trying and trying and trying. So. I think we're just gonna cut our biscuits. Then maybe I can take a square and just kind of form it into like a crazy looking biscuit. There we go. Just cutting them into squares and then I'm just kind of forming them into just like a sloppy type of circle. I want bit I want big biscuits out of this. I'm not trying to go for small today. Go big or go home, right? That's how we do it around here. And then just roughly shaping them. Because I kind of want a, like a rustic look. There we go. There's another one. Take this and just mix this together and make this the last one. It'll be a nice big biscuit. Okay, so you could um, brush some milk on the top, some soy milk and if you want them to brown more, but I'm just gonna put them in the um, oven on a high temperature so they'll brown or maybe turn up the temperature the last few minutes. Okay, so I took these out of the oven. I was like for the last few minutes trying to brown them and so I had flipped them. So that's why they kind of have like, they're dark in the middle, but they still look super delicious. They rose really good and I didn't even um, use the, um, they rose really well and I didn't even use the amount of baking powder and baking soda that they say use. So these turned out really well. Like I said, I kind of flipped them to try to brown them more. Um, but all you have to do is just turn the oven on broil the last few minutes and they'll brown just fine. You don't have to flip them. But let's cut into one of these. I'm going to do it up to the camera here so you can see how this looks. This would be perfect 
with like some jam and I was trying to look in the fridge and see if we had any jam but there you go guys nice fluffy biscuit but you can kind of slather the coconut cream as butter let's do the extra right there you can kind of slather the coconut cream as butter if you want so the verdict is these biscuits are super fluffy they're super buttery even though they have no butter or oil in them and I have to say they're a winner my mom's like my taste tester today and she's been like really loving these didn't even know they had no oil or butter in them I'm telling you guys you got to make these biscuits they're a winner you don't have to make them like mine's like these big large crackers <laughs> and but I mean make these biscuits they can be a staple in your home all free yummy delicious doesn't take a whole bunch of additives just go in the kitchen throw a few uh, ingredients in there some milk some coconut cream and BAM there you go so I hope you guys make this recipe and thank you so much for watching I'm gonna get me some jam and slather these biscuits with some jam because gosh they're good I'm not lying they are super good make these biscuits all right then bye bye Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's our biscuits. Kind of turn that one over. Look at that. Nice and fluffy on the inside. Mmm. Mm.